Okay, yeah, I wanted to, well, I, actually, I'm going to first off start with, um, I'm amazed at um, the level of restraint twice now that I've shown. Once, uh, for sure, is the, about the postcard jam. That had the exact same draw, um, like, a that the gaming gantry did for me. It just, I could feel it pull and just starting to, uh, everything else was just fading into the background because it was, it was like a, a siren song for me and I was just like holy shoot um but I restrained myself and secondly for this one as well uh this is uh something I've been using as a footstool um when I've been doing some of my uh filming with the gaming gantry when it gets a little too high up from the table um when I want to do some really big overhead shots especially with the DVS adapter and the mobile phone not so much with the camcorder because I can rotate the little viewfinder thing in the jig. But, um, you know, I just removed. It's like one of those 10 in 1 games, family 1 games things you get. Uh, it's with, you know, these slidey things, which I was going to use with, uh, and probably still will, uh, with Rob, um, <coughs> to use them as uh, game related uh, uh, placemats or whatever when we do our theme uh, potluck uh, when we play the US Civil War. Um, but then I was thinking afterwards, I was like, hey man, why don't you turn this into like a, a little gaming caddy I can wander around the house with? Because I mean, essentially the only two rooms in my house that don't have, that aren't for gaming, it's the bathroom and the kitchen, everything else. And I mean, even the kitchen has a freaking, uh, you know, has the Gorlitza Tarnif um, breakthrough map on the wall for crying out loud. So I was like, well, why don't we turn this thing into like a, a little gaming caddy? So I'm going to start trying to or, you know, segregate little, make a little uh, shelving or whatever in here so I can put in my dice, um, little journal, whatever, uh, that type of stuff, but make it um, modular, obviously, but not permanent. Um, so I can, you know, uh, orient it the way I want it. So if I want to put decks of cards in there for a game or whatever, snacks, who cares? But look at this. I thought this is pretty cool. So these are uh, GMT trays. I can get three in. So maybe I'll make a nice little locking mechanism or something. And, um, oops. And away I go. I, I, you know, I mean, come on, I'll get nice. There we go. And I can just grab it and away we go. Um, I'm happy. So that's it. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, uh, going to show restraint, though, because... Oh, and th this is how I know I'm able to show restraint, is what I, w I wanted to do. It's not because of me, like, pat on the back. Oh, wow, Chris, you're amazing. You're, uh, you know, you've curbed your whatever. No, it's the uh, live stream. And um, knowing that it's like, I've got things to get accomplished by Saturday. And if I focus too much on this, it's not going to get done. And... As far right now, every like that's basically my week. I just go, okay, next week, let's get ready for the next Saturday live stream. And it's not a, it's a labor of love, basically. Yeah, I mean, it's work. It's a lot of hard work, but I'm, I'm loving every single freaking second of it. Um, the main thing. Oh yeah, on the side note, I hope I remember. I've got to start looking for some better sources for um, what's been going on in Africa. Here, we'll, we'll go over zip over there. Tough. I was about the gaming thing, but whatever. Yeah. I've got to start finding out some better sources of what's been going on in Africa. I really want to uh, find out more about that for um, World War One, and uh, that's it. Okay, I uh, hope you're having a good one. Bye.